Everyone heading to Derby on Saturday, but first of all, if we look back to Tuesday, uh, a hard fought win, I guess, is probably the, the best way of putting it. What were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, absolutely. It was, um, we knew it was going to be a tough place to go on a Tuesday night, obviously, with them at the foot of the table. Game of two halves for me, really. I think we dominated the first half, made good use of the ball. We probably should have scored another goal, I think, on reflection, but we wasn't naive. Second half, we knew they, they had to come out and, sh and show fire, which they did, because everyone's competitive. And um, I think in the end, Ash makes a great save, like he did at Exeter, and um, gets us the three points. Listen, I'm chuffed with three points, but there's a, there's a lot to take from it, but also a lot to learn in terms of seeing games out or, you know, when we're dominating so much in the game, kind of getting a lead that's um, a lot, a far more comfortable because I'm sure we put the fans through it as much as the coaching staff. What was what was the talk in the change room afterwards? Because like you say, we started brilliantly, probably should have scored some more goals, didn't. Yeah, and then in the end, we were not hanging on, but were a little bit on the back foot at times. Yeah. I think it's obviously, like I said, it was similar at Exeter. Listen, there's no easy games in this league. It's three points. You can never turn your nose up at three points, but we're always looking especially recently, obviously, to get the three points firstly and then and look back and, and see how we can improve as a team and as a squad as a whole, including the subs coming on. And as a central defender, a clean sheet against your name, um, how pleasing is that, regardless of, of how it comes? Yeah, of course, like I said, I give plaudits to, to, to Ash Main, our brewer has been excellent. Um, but yeah, I'd like it to be a lot more comfortable. I know, <laughs> I know we can't pick and choose, but we certainly had our backs up against the wall last 10 minutes. and. Um, they had a few chances, but yeah, um, it's a clean sheet. I, f I feel like we we haven't had as many as we should have this year for a number of reasons. But like I said, we're always looking to improve and it's, it's another one in the bank and uh, hopefully we can get many more. Since Dean's come in as manager, it's five wins in seven now. Um, and since he's been with us, the playing style has, has changed a little bit. Do you feel like that amended playing style brings the best out of you? Um, I think there's more than one approach to the game. I've, I've enjoyed, firstly, I'd like to say I've enjoyed the different styles that, that I've been put under. Obviously, I've been fit this year, which has been great. But the gaffer's come in, he's in, instilled confidence in what we already had in the group and, and made some changes. But I think I think belief's the main thing and, and, and a real fight amongst us and, and team spirit. But yeah, we've made some changes on the surface and I feel like we've got a lot more resolute so we are saying we are giving up chances at the end of games that we want to work on, like I said previously, but we're standing tall, everyone to a man, whether it's lads coming on, lads starting games, new signings, there's that real steeliness about us and we want, want that to continue. And there was a couple of things you mentioned in there. The first one, fitness. Mm -hmm. um, you've played a lot of minutes this season. How Do you feel like you're in a, a good place physically at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. I take each game as it comes. I've always wanted to play a huge part since I arrived at this club and I've said it before, no one chooses to be injured, no one wants to be injured and um, yeah, it was a frustrating time but that's behind me now. I look, I look forward to the game Saturday I've selected and, and many more to come. I think there's 15 or 16 left so I just want to play as much as I can. You know, I feel like a kid again. I had a long time out of the game, stop, start. So yeah, long way to continue. And as one of the more senior players, do you feel like you have a, a role to play here at the training ground? So away from match day in terms of driving those standards, keeping people upbeat, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. We've got some, we've got some real leaders in it. Obviously, Skipper Dobbo is um, driving us on the front foot with that. But I think it, it takes more than one person. So you don't need the armband just to do that. I think, like you said myself, I take pride in trying to push standards. but. The more the merrier in a sense we've got a lot of lads that do that and um, we just can't let those slip and keep looking to the next game and, and pushing what we can do out there on a training pitch but the gaffer's massive on it one of the first things he said when he come through the door so he's always reminding us as well so from all angles we're um, hopefully moving in the right direction someone we were just talking about off camera is Jez Raksaki tell us tell us about him <sighs> where to start I said to you didn't I, I said I'll probably pester him I actually texted him last night I was um, yeah, I'm just in a little bit of awe of him, really. I said to him, I'll probably annoy him, but I think he's a top player and um, he's done a lot for us this season. I hope he can do more and I think he's going to go on to great things. But like I said to you, I think with 23's football and it's hard, it's easily forgotten how young he is and, and he hasn't played men's football before and he's, he's turned out Saturday, Tuesday for us and, and really stood tall and um, I'm uh, pleased for him getting the plaudits that he deserves. And I think, this, I think he's still got more in there. I think he can gets bums off seats and he's a, he's a great lad on top of that, so 
Yeah. I was just going to say, sitting up in the stands when he gets the ball, yeah, he is bums off seats kind of player. For you on the pitch, I don't know if there's an equivalent to bums off seats when you're on the pitch. Well, but it's, Yeah, it's actually a bit of a nightmare really because as a centre half, you need to be concentrating how can we box him in. Um, but when he gets the ball, it's, it's hard not to be uh, a little bit dazzled. So you're kind of, he drops his shoulders, you're going with it a little bit and all of a sudden if it breaks down, you're like, oh wow, I'm just watching a game. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, we need to concentrate more when he gets the ball or he needs to stick it in the back of the net more and then we can wheel off celebrating. <laughs> and as well as it being five wins in seven for us, it's also three away wins on the bounce. Mm -hmm. Derby to come on Saturday, they drew on Tuesday, but before that they'd won six home games on the bounce. What are we expecting from them? Listen, we, we had a meeting this morning without giving too much away, so it's all about belief. So. Yes, it'll be a tough game, it's away from home, but like you said, we've, we've won away, we've won at home. We want to go there and give a real good account of ourselves. I feel like we've done that in, in away games in the past, but not quite come away with the results. So if we can stand tall, get a footing in the game, and then, um, like you said, we're in good form as well. So I think it'll be a great match, but one to look forward to, they're the games we want to play in. Very best of luck. Tough. <laughs> <laughs>